Small talk. Yeah. Talk about the things people do and say. Whatever gets talked about, it's okay. Arthur Hamilton, come down here for the Good Squad panel. Because he does the sound, he does the setup. Oh, Arthur Hamilton! Yeah. Yeah. The man. What's up, y'all? I am from where Roddy King got his ass whooped, y'all. Yeah. <sighs> That's where I'm from. I'm trying to put on for my city. See, people don't know about where I'm from unless you tell them about Roddy King. That's the only thing. All right, make it. let's get this Goon Squad panel started. Yeah. So what's uh, going on in the the internets and the news? We're gonna talk about it. Um, do you hear that Justin Bieber challenged Tom Cruise to a fight? <laughs> yeah, and Tom Cruise gonna beat his ass. <laughs> I don't care how old that nigga is. Justin Bieber's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this girl be whooping his ass straight up. I think so. <laughs> Who do you think is gonna win the fight? Uh, my money's on Tom Cruise. <laughs> Right, you ever seen down. Mission Impossible 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6? <laughs> Whooping everybody's ass. Yeah. Scientologists right. are sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't no bitches either. That's why nobody fuck with them. <laughs> well, all right, Tom Cruise it is. You guys think it's Tom Cruise? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no. a, a teacher in the Bronx beat up a student for owing him weed money. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little extreme. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, it depends on how strong the weed was and how much money I had left in my pocket. I probably would have whooped his ass, too. <laughs> you know you get money from your mama, motherfucker. Give me that shit. <laughs> I be seeing the lunch you be eating. You don't, you don't use them tickets. You be spending cash. <laughs> yeah, you know, people, I would probably beat somebody up, too. You know, I'll beat him up for taking my parking spot. Hell so. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll be right there with I'm a you. tiny ninja, and I got friends. Yep. Yeah. I'm just looking for a fight, so. Yeah. All right, um, Kim Kardashian says she wants former inmates to work. What? She was in the news. She was she was speaking at the White House. You know, I think it's incredible. She's beauty, brains. I think she's going to be the next president. I hope not. It's just going to be too much going on. <laughs> Fake booties are gonna increase by 79%. We don't need that. Uh, well, you know, I speak for yourself. Uh, <laughs> I, I love a good fake booty, uh, especially on a man. Uh, look at Baruch Nakal. Uh, the Americans, we have still, we've not determined whether or not Baruch Nakal's ass was in fact real. Uh, it did fulfill a lot of fantasies, I will say that about it. Uh, and he could leap as, as tall as a, as a leaping frog uh, from, from Gumption County or a Mark Twain tall tale. Uh, but we don't, we don't have it confirmed, it was an actual real ass. <laughs> now when men start getting fake booties, I'm, I'm definitely checking out. <laughs> um, did you guys hear about these YouTubers who are doing these, uh, they're just giving out shitty products to their subscribers who are buying stuff from them? Did you oh, hear about that? Like the shit that have asbestos in it and shit? Yeah, the Jaclyn Hill, she, uh, her makeup brand finally came out, the lipsticks, and it, allegedly there was like, people were taking pictures that looked like it had mold in it and hairs in it. Oh, and they were paying God. good money for this stuff. Oh, See, this is why they need to bring ass whoopers back. <laughs> uh, I do believe that she's clearly a member of the Illuminati. Uh, and that, uh, her makeup is a conspiracy to keep people ill, uh, keep cancer in the news, uh, and uh, bring people a general malaise, or uh, in other words, blues, if you will. <laughs> Hell yeah, Illuminati, what she said. That's that Illuminati shit. Uh, and uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders oh steps God. down as the press secretary. Yeah. I'm glad. That's the bitch with the lazy eye, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she looked like she definitely had her ass whooped recently every time she got up there. I think she should have resigned a long time ago. Cause you don't want to buy a speaker for you that looked like they got their ass whooped. Yeah, that's true. Unless he got like the cauliflower head, like that UFC shit. He's like, all right, he got his ass up, but he probably beat the other dude's ass too. Uh, I thought she was an excellent liar. Uh, I thought, you know, there. I have no doubt about her competency in the department of lying. I think she had a master's in bullshit from uh, Skull and Bones University. Uh, 
and uh, and I absolutely know he's guilty because she she's quitting. Uh, <laughs> he's gone through a lot of press secretaries. What well, we had the guy that hid in the bushes. Sean Spicer. I mean, we've never had a press secretary hide in the fucking bushes. But the bullshit from our president is so scary that he hid in the bushes to speak to the news. Then we had then we had the Scaramucci guy. Scaramooch, Scaramooch, can I do the fandango? Thunderbolt of lightning! Very, very frightening me! Galileo! Galileo! I miss the mooch! He ruined his life in 10 days! Amazing! But then Sarah came along and she just bit down like a pit bull! She is amazing! She does her job so well! She was like, I don't care! He could say he's Darth Vader! I will back him! Well, thank God she's amazing. not there anymore. It's she wonderful. It. It's wonderful. And the final question, what do you guys think of my outfit tonight? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah, every time I wear this out, people think I'm like a rapper or something. Well, you know, you be you be spitting bars. Don't be playing with them shit. <laughs> we gonna do a song. We gonna write a song together. We gonna come out here. We gonna, gonna perform it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Remember that time we was rapping and we was on my laptop just going over instrumentals. Yeah, that was. She was like hour long. She, she don't say nigga though. She respect me. She yeah. respect me. <laughs> I don't say that. No. Well, I don't say that either. Okay. Yeah. Just to clarify, and Norm doesn't as well. So we're, we're all good. Norm yeah. don't say a lot. You know what I'm saying? He just be. <laughs> Give it for Norman Davis, though. He's in here for the beginning. And we love him. Yeah. Well, uh, that's all that we have for the small, uh, the panel of Goon Squad yes. tonight. But that was dope. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. Check yeah. out uh, Channel 310. Yeah, yes. Arthur Hamilton has a show called Blunts and Brunch, and yes. he does brunch yes. shit. I do okay? brunch shit. I could cook, you know what I'm saying? I guess down. Yeah. I'd like to come on that show. I love it. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Hey, hey, hey. It used to be all about the two martini brunch, br uh, two martini lunch, uh, but now it's about the two blunt brunch. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. We, we smoke about four on there. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and I'll just leave it this When I used to smoke Arthur And we would smoke a lot together And he yes. had no idea that when you know we were hanging out I was on my phone, he thought I was working But I was really watching Pornhub yes. yeah! <laughs> I'd like to plug Arthur Hamilton's Girlfriend's clothing line uh, young Yes, fashion Young Fresh and Shameless Cause that's exactly what we are on Small Talk yes. Young Fresh and Shameless they will be supplying my costume for the musical taking place at this theater, uh, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, opening here at Skip Down Playhouse in August. Official. Yeah, hell yeah! Good squad panel, give it up! Yeah. Arthur Hamilton, Elizabeth Croydon! That was fucking incredible! Yeah. Guys, tonight was exactly what I wanted.